Now, I've already ran water into the hose to prime the hose. Uh, I typically, uh, uh, when I'm running longer lengths of hose, I like to either run lime, a little bit of lime water. Some guys will run a little soap. It's just anything that you'd normally use to slick a hose. Uh, anybody who's ever pumped before knows that if you're running two, 300 feet of hose on a big pump, you always want to add some kind of lubricating agent for the hose just to help the mud out. That said, whenever you're pumping, I don't care if it's a Tommy gun, big pump, small pump, whenever you're pumping mortar, you always want to start a little bit wet in your mix. You want to get everything pumping and then you can slowly adjust your water to get to the point where it's perfect on the wall. Why do you do that? Because once you start having packs early in the day, it continues throughout the day. It's just uh, a rule of thumb in the plastering industry. Once you have that first pack, you're going to have it, especially if it's early in the morning, you're going to have it happen throughout the day. So we set ourselves up to succeed by utilizing a little bit of wet mud to start with. I do this even if I've been pumping the same material on the same job for three months. I'm still, every morning, I'm going to put a little bit of wet material to get everything going. Okay, so now we have water in the hose. We're simply going to start filling up the hopper, turn on the pump, displace the water with the mortar, and we're not going to put the nozzle on until we get good mud to the end. So now I'm going to start the mixer, get mud going in here, and I'm going to fill the hose with, with mortar. So the pump is running full speed, the mixer is only at the set speed, but they are pretty much keeping up with each other. So now, as I said, I hear the pump go off, so I turn the mixer off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put my nozzle on, and uh, I'm going to adjust the pattern in the hopper. That way I'm not wasting material, I'm not putting it out on the ground, I'm not trying to put it on the wall, trying to adjust my pattern. Okay, so now I have everything on, I'm going to put the orifice cap on. Get air to the nozzle. And I'm simply going to adjust it into my hopper, start pumping. I'm ready to go to the wall. So basically there it is. We put a half inch of base coat on in a relatively short amount of time. 